Hello everyone, my name is Simon and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five bits of equipment that are new for me and that I've recently bought to use in 2020 and some of which I've already started using. I hope everyone's keeping safe given the current circumstances. What you would have just seen was me going out running. So uh, that's just what I'm trying to do to kind of keep, keep sane really. I, I live on my own, so I'm just trying to get out and do some exercise and where I can. Keep, keep kind of, everyone talks about mental health, but I think just getting out there and be able to exercise in, in the current environment is, is really key. So this channel is all about gear reviews. It's all about hiking and it's all about wild camping. So if you like all of that stuff, would you consider subscribing to the channel? It would really help support the channel. And please hit the like button if you enjoy this video. So this is five items that I'm gonna be using in 2020 and that I've already started using. So the first bit of equipment is the Soto one liter New River Pot. Now I bought this with the Amicus stove as well and it costs about £45. So I actually sold the stove back and so I think that the net cost of this for me was about £20. Now for a one litre aluminium pot weighing 140 grams that's a really good price. I've also got the Tokes pot which a lot of people have that's about 550 millilitres and that cost in the region of around £28, £29 weighing in 100 grams. Really pleased with how this, this pot is working so far. And as I said, it carries a litre, so it means you can actually put those meals in the pot itself to heat them up, um, whereas the other pot was, was really too small to do that. The second bit of equipment is, so it's the Thermarest Ridge Rest Solite Sleeping Mat. Now this has an R value of 2.1. It's the regular one. It weighs in at 400 grams. And it has these ridges just to trap air and to keep you warmer for longer. The one everyone seems to have is the Thermarest Z Light Soul Sleep Mat, which is a lot more expensive. I think it's around £45 versus this one, which cost me £26. And to be honest, I, I feel like I've got a good deal here because I've kind of got the one that, that is, is the cheaper one, but basically does this, the, the same thing. I think the this one, actually has a very similar, if not better, R value. I, I believe the Soul Light has an R value of around two-ish, 1.7 to two for the regular one. And I, I, I genuinely don't understand why more people don't have this one. I think it's probably due to the compactness. So the other one is rectangular shaped, so it's easier to strap on the outside of your pack. Whereas this one, you almost have to put it inside your pack unless you've got some big straps on the outside. So perhaps that's the reason, but this is a really cool bit of kit for me. This, it's got me through the winter. I've been able to put it under my um, X-Lite sleeping mat so that it just gives that extra layer of warmth. So yeah, really good. Next up is a really simple one. It's just a camping light. It has this little handy thing so you can actually either, so you can clip that onto the top of your tent. It's about 100 lumens, so it just provides a decent amount of light. You will have seen in my other video up here that I've got a four class head torch as well and that can go up to 400 lumens. So with the two of those, I get a decent amount of light in my tent. It's got a, it's rechargeable USB here. So if you've got, a lot of you guys, you've got the RAV power bank or any other power bank, you can just charge it if it runs out whilst you're on your trip, which is ideal. And it's just a cheap version from China that I got. I think it cost me about six pounds from Amazon but it's just fantastic. Like I've taken it out a few times now and it works really, really well. I didn't want to spend 20 quid on those black diamond ones, 25 pounds. And I just, I don't like feel like I'm getting shafted. So although it's, it's, that, it's always that toss up, isn't it? Between quality versus, uh, versus these cheaper bands, which may, may not last longer. But I think in this, in this instance, um, I got a good deal. Okay, so next up is the OEX Bush Pro Bivy. Now, it's my first bivy. You will have seen, it's still got the tags on, so it's only just arrived. And you would have seen my video link up again on, on a tarp that I recently bought towards the end of last year. And so I want that experience of being able to sleep under the stars. And so this will help me to not have a tent, but use this with the tarp that I've purchased to, to kind of get that experience. And I think as campers, that's always what we're looking for is to kind of be, be outdoors and just feel really kind of close to that side of things. So that's something I'm really excited about. So it weighs in at 450 grams and it has a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head, fully taped seams and internal pockets as well. The cost was only around 30 pounds, so I got this on a, on a really good offer as well. So it's something that I'm really excited to be using in 2020. Okay, so next up is the Van Gogh Hawthorne table. Now, it only cost me 12, 7, 
£12.75, something like that. It's kind of fiddly to put together. There are two poles which you insert through each end and it folds out nicely. It weighs about 750 grams. That is heavier than some of the other tables out there. I've seen people using the Alpkit table, which is light. And I believe now that's been discontinued by Alpkit. It's no longer on their website. You've got the Cascade Wild Ultra Light table, which weighs in at 65 grams. Again, it's a much smaller surface. So this just really helps me to, to kind of be a bit more organized. My tent is, is, can be very messy. So, and just so it kind of gives a stable platform for things like the stove. Again, it is, is heavy, but for me, that's absolutely fine. I'm only going on two day hikes maximum. So I don't mind carrying an extra a little bit of weight. If say, for example, I was going on a three, four, five day hike, then I probably wouldn't take a table at all. Or if I did, it would be the ultralight, the one that I mentioned. Thanks guys for watching. So that's it really. Just a few more things to round up from me. I'll post links to all of the things that I've gone through today below. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. You will have seen in my last video that my Terra Nova Wild Country Helm 2 person kind of got a bit destroyed due to the, the storm that was happening, Storm Kira at the time. So first of all, I got in contact with the supplier that I purchased it from. Predictably, they wouldn't return it. That really didn't surprise me because I'm not going to mention who it the supplier but given that given the kind of uh, the press around the owner I'm not surprised that they they came back with we're not willing to fund you or, or um, send you a new tent because it was still within the one year warranty two of the peg out, pegging out points the, the had come completely detached and broke some of the stitching was coming away from the zip I think there are at least five issues I got directly in contact with Terra Nova and they couldn't have been better. I sent the tent out to them. They emailed me a quotation of how much it would cost to fix. They quoted five pounds. Now given given the amount of stitching and the replacement of things that they're gonna need, that seems like a bargain. I'll pay the postage as well, but I was, to be honest, I'm really pleased with that and they're gonna send it back. I've been looking at the Banshee 200 Pro. I don't need a new tent, but for whatever reason, I really want a tent where I can kind of lie down and the, the entrance is on the side in one of those sort of sort of elongated rectangular style tents where a bit like the Hilleberg Acto. For whatever reason, I really like that design. As you will know, if you've seen any of my videos, I already have three tents. As you will know, if you've seen any of my videos, I already have three tents. I really don't need another tent. So maybe one to put on the back burner. People are shouting out other channels. I think that's a really cool idea to kind of engage with the community and also to, to help support one another. So congratulations to Londoner Outdoors for reaching a thousand subscribers. Really good channel, so guys check it out if you've not seen any of his content. That's it from me, so thanks so much for watching. Comment, share, like, subscribe, and all of that usual stuff. And I will see you on the next video.